I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah. Peace and safety to the hopefully like all the Akim, scattered across the four corners, pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. This is 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. And the prophecy I'm going to go into in this lesson is dealing with uh, Malachi chapter 4. Uh, dealing with the prophet Elijah. And the private interpretation of that is, is it was referring to uh, Abba Bibbins. And I'm going to show you uh, through the precepts. All right. Through the precepts that Malachi chapter 4. Uh, verse 5 and 6 is not referring to Abba Bibbins, all right? Because, uh, like I said, the private interpretation is uh, basically that uh, Abba Bibbins fulfilled this prophecy, all right, of uh, the prophet Elijah returning the, the hearts of the fathers back to the children and the children hearts back to the fathers. And I'm going to show you that that's a private interpretation and a damnable heresy that's taught uh, mainly amongst GMS. All right. Because when I was amongst GMS, that's uh, what I was taught. And basically just more uh, damnable heresies by these uh, Splinter One West camps. All right. It's not just GMS. It's ISUPK. It's HOI. It's ISU, uh, IUIC. All right, it's all these uh, one West splinter camps that's basically teaching damnable heresies and using private interpretations of the scriptures, man. Uh, this is verse 21. For the prophecy came not in old times by the will of man. All right, and that's what you have dealing with this uh, Abba Bibbins uh, fulfilling, uh, fulfilling the prophecy of uh, Malachi chapter 4. In uh, verse uh, 5 and 6, all right, that was brought in by the will of men, man, okay? Reading on, but holy men of the power spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit, all right? And that's why precept must be upon precept, all right? And uh, the first scripture I want to get, I'm going to start in the book of Malachi, chapter 4 and verse 5. And it says, Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. All right. And basically, like I said, uh, GMS, uh, they teach that this prophecy was fulfilled when Abba Bibbins came on the scene. All right. And that's a private interpretation because there's no precepts to support that. Okay. This was uh, brought in by the will of men, uh, a damn, another damnable heresy, one of many damnable heresies that's taught amongst these uh, One West splinter camps. Okay, verse 6, And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Okay, so now let me get the next precept in the book of Mark. Uh, chapter 9 and verse 11 and it reads and they asked him saying why say the scribes that Elias which is uh, the prophet Elijah must first come all right because they know going back to the prophecy in the book of Malachi all right that's why they they uh, the Pharisees I mean the scribes the lock here uh, said that Elijah must first come. Verse 12, And he answered and told them, Elias verily cometh first, and restore all things. All right? And restore all things. Uh, and how it is written of the Son of Man that he must suffer many things, and be set at naught. But I say unto you, that Elias, the prophet Elijah, is indeed come, and... They have done unto him whatsoever listed as it is written of him. All right. As it is written of him. We're in the book of Malachi. All right. And this is referring to John the Baptist. All right. And I'm going to prove that. Uh, 
So let's get the next precept. And I'm going to show you that uh, John the Baptist was prophesied in the Old Testament. All right. The prophet e, uh, the prophet Isaiah prophesied of John the Baptist. So this is um, Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 3. And it says, The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. All right. So this is going back to the book of Malachi, the fathers, uh, turning back the fathers, uh, turning back the heart of the fathers to the children and turning the children, the hearts of the children back to the fathers, preparing the way. OK, prepare ye the way of the Lord. And we know uh, referring to John the Baptist, uh, referring to this wilderness. All right, he who would be crying from the wilderness will be talking about John the Baptist. And I'm going to show you that in the next precept. It says, make straight in the desert a highway for our power. All right, meaning turn the, the hearts of the fathers back to the children and the hearts of the children back to the fathers. Okay, so um, get the next precept here in Luke chapter 3 and uh, verse 2. And it says, Annas and Caiaphas, being the high priest, the word of the power came unto John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. All right. So the prophet uh, Isaiah prophesied of John the Baptist. OK. It says, and he came into all. He and he came into all the country about Jordan preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sin as it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah like we just read in chapter 40 and verse 3 the prophet saying the voice of one crying in the wilderness prepare ye the way of the Lord make his path straight all right. So basically going back to the book of Malachi. So let's read it again. Chapter four and verse five. All right. And like I say, the private interpretation of this is that Abba Bibbins and not John the Baptist fulfilled this prophecy of the prophet Elijah returning and uh, uh, the, the, the hearts of the fathers back to the children and the hearts of the children back to the fathers. And basically, like I said, that's a damnable heresy that was brought in in old times by the will of man. All right. Referring to first Peter's uh, chapter um, one and verse 21. OK. So. Uh, read on. This says, behold, I will send you Elijah. The prophet referring to John the Baptist before the coming in great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to the fathers. Lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. All right. So this is referring to John the Baptist. OK, not Abba Bibbins. Like you said, it's a private interpretation. All right. Of the scriptures, man. And uh, I hope you brothers was edified. And uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.